What up? It's your boy, Luke for Prez, back again. Hope everyone is doing well. Basically, what I want to talk about today uh, involves a, a number of questions that I've been receiving from you guys regarding uh, the running of online ads. I'm actually extremely happy that people are watching my tutorial videos on these topics and taking action, actually starting to run ads for their beat selling businesses. It's a great feeling to see, you know, that the, the videos are actually making a difference for people. However, running ads online is a big financial decision potentially and should not be taken lightly. So the topic that I wanna to cover today is exactly what you need to have in place before you start running online ads. I just wanna make sure that everybody is attacking this responsibly and from an educated perspective so you spend your money the most effectively. So I'm gonna cover about five different components uh, that I think you need to have in place before diving on in. So with all that being said, let's break it down. The first thing you need to have before running online ads for your beat selling business is the entrepreneur mindset. You have to be fully prepared to invest in yourself and in your business. And what that means is you need to be psychologically prepared for the very distinct probability that you will be losing money at first and potentially for quite a while at first. <laughs> it took me eight months of running ads before I saw my first profitable month with my beat selling business. It can definitely be hard to stay the course when all you're doing is losing money every month. But what I found was little by little, more and more people were purchasing my beats. And that was enough to keep me going and keep me focused on the light at the end of the tunnel. This whole process is not unique to online beat sales. A ton of huge companies that exist today are still not profitable. Obviously, the money that you invest in your beat selling business is gonna be significantly less than these giant companies, but you have to have that kind of mindset. How I look at it is how I go to Vegas and gamble at the casinos. I try to do it as responsibly as possible. I'm not a big gambler at all. But every time I go, I set aside a specific amount of money that I am willing to lose 100% of. That way, whatever happens in the casino, I've already written that money off as a loss. And it allows me to stay zen and enjoy myself throughout the entire experience. The good news is with online ads, your chances of success over the long term are significantly better than at the casino. You just have to stay the course and continually refine your process and things should work out over the long term. The second thing that you need before running ads is proof of concept. You need to make sure that people actually want to buy the products that you're selling. Your beats actually have to be good. Otherwise you could have the best ads in the world and nobody is gonna buy them. Use the manual tactics that I've covered in previous videos to make sure that your beats are actually sellable to begin with. Reach out to artists individually on SoundCloud, Instagram, wherever else, and make sure that people are actually willing to give you money in exchange for your music. This doesn't mean that you need to have, you know, 100 sales before you dive in, but you know, if you can get a handful of people to give you money for your music consistently, then I think it would be a good idea to consider investing some money in some ads and trying to scale that up to get that product in front of a larger group of people. The third thing you need before running ads is a specific niche. Now that doesn't mean that all of your beats need to sound exactly the same or that you need to pigeonhole yourself into one genre of music stifling your own creativity just to get sales. But at the same time, it's a good idea as a producer to make it a goal to have a recognizable and cohesive sound. 
a specialty, if you will, that will keep people coming back for more. This will help you narrow down your targeting when you do decide to start running ads. Like I've used this example before. For me specifically, I create trap beats primarily. So if someone is looking for boom bap beats, that's not a person I necessarily want coming to my website from a paid ad because that's probably a waste of money. They're not gonna find what they're looking for. So there are ways to dial in your target audience on platforms like Google ads using things like negative keywords, which I've covered in other videos that I will link to. But the more specific you can get with a niche, the better, because that way it makes it easier for you to develop a loyal customer base that continues to come back for your beats, which can make up a huge percentage of your monthly beat sales return customers that is. The fourth thing that you need for your online beat business before you start running paid ads is an extensive catalog. This is not an exact science by any stretch and there's no set number of beats that you need to have on your site before diving into ads. But having said that, I believe the more the better. I don't have an exact number for you, but I think if you have five or 10 beats on your website, that's definitely not enough to start running ads to your site. Even if those beats are amazing, not every single beat is gonna resonate with every single artist. When Dr. Dre made the beat that went on to be in the club, he initially pitched it to D12 and they passed on it. So it eventually went to 50 Cent and became like the biggest song in the universe back in the ancient days of 2003. But there's a million examples like that where you know artists pass on beats that are amazing, it just doesn't fit for them. So if you only have a handful of beats on your website to choose from, you're setting yourself up for failure. The larger your selection of beats, the more likely you are to have something for everyone within your niche. Gun to my head, I would say, you know, 50 beats is probably a good number to have before you really start investing a lot of money in ads. I think I started with somewhere around 30 to 40 beats on my website when I started running ads. But like I said, it took me eight months. You know, on the ninth month, I finally made a profit. And maybe that had something to do with it. Maybe I dove in a bit too early. But you know, that's gonna be a personal choice that you just have to make. But again, I think the more the better. And if you're starting from scratch or from a very low beat count, this gives you the opportunity to get more reps in. The more beats you make, the better your beats are going to become. You're going to become a better producer over the long term. So by the time you've amassed a sizable catalog, your beats are gonna sound better than they do today. And the final thing that you need to have in place before running online ads is a baseline understanding of the ad platform you are using. The more information that you can attain about Facebook ads or Google ads or whatever platform that you choose to advertise on, the better. The quickest way to lose all of your money is to just go in without knowing what you're doing and trying to learn on the fly. Now, of course, you're not gonna learn everything and the best way to learn is through experience, but by spending some time watching some YouTube tutorials, you're going to be able to spend your money more efficiently. So take as much time as necessary to familiarize yourself with these platforms, with exactly how they work, with all of the different options and functionalities within, and the more you do this, the less likely you are to waste money on making silly mistakes that could have been avoided. So that's basically it. That's all I got for you guys today. This is in no way a comprehensive list. You know, there's a million things that you could have in place, but you don't wanna get bogged down with analysis paralysis. So these are the, you know, the five most important factors that I could think of. Uh, that I wish I would have spent a little bit more time on before I dove in, because maybe I would have been able to get profitable quicker. But in any case, I hope you found some value from this video. I hope this helps you in your producer journey. Let me know in the comments if you have any additional questions on anything that I've covered, or if you have a topic for a video you'd like me to, uh, to make next. I'm happy to uh, listen to some suggestions. Please do the YouTube algorithm friendly stuff like liking the video, subscribing to the channel, all of that good stuff. Um, that's it. I will see you guys on the next one. Have a fantastic day. Peace.